So number 13 is the calcaneus. Yeah, what side of the body? And for some reason it's a bit of a lag though. What you said? Which side of the body is this? Oh, so this is the, the medial aspect of the left foot. So it's the medial yeah, aspect. So you want to say the that? Left left. Foot. Yeah, so you want to say that before you start answering the questions, okay? What is 15? Yeah. 15 is the navicular bone. Okay, what is 10? 10 is the medial cuneiform bone. Okay, that's fine. Well done. Okay, what are the arches of the foot that you know? So we have the the medial longitudinal arch. We have the lateral longitudinal the lateral longitudinal arch as well as the transverse arch. What are the constituents of the medial longitudinal arch? So the medial longitudinal arch consists of the calcaneus, the talus, navicular, the three uh, media, the three cuneiform bones, as well as the three medial metatarsals. Yeah. What about ligaments and muscles? The ligaments of the medial longitudinal arch would include the the long plantar arch, the short plantar arch, as well as the del the deltoid ligament. And the okay, muscles so will include. Mm -hmm. Go on. Yes, and the muscles will include the um the the the, the flexor the flexor hallucis longus as well as the fibularis longus muscles. Yeah, so so you see calcaneus talus navicular three could you four medial three with the torso that was very well done. In ligaments, you you replaced the word ligament by an arch, so just be careful. So you said long plantar arch and short plantar arch. You're talking about ligaments here and a spring ligament as well. In terms of muscles, uh, it, basically it's FHL, tip anterior and posterior and peroneus longus as well. OK, OK, OK. And also you required some prompting to mention the ligaments and the muscles. When I ask you what are the constituents, you want to say the bones, the muscles, and the ligaments as well without me asking further questions. Okay. Yeah. What yeah. are the joints of the foot? I know there are many joints, but what are the three big joints in the foot? And the joint, the joints, there's the ankle joint, which consists of the, the distal end of the fibula tibula, as well as the superior articulating surface of the telos. There's a subtalar joint, which is a uh, Synovial hinge joint consisting of the calcaneus, navicular, and telus bone. And then there's also the, the transmetatarsal, the, the transmetatarsal joint, the subtalar joint. Sorry. You said subtalar joint already, and you said the constituents of it. There is one more joint, the TCN joint, and the calcaneocupoid joint. What you meant to say is the metatarsal joint. The metatarsal. You meant to say the metatarsal joint, or transverse tarsal. Okay. Um, also, the type of the subtalar joint that you mentioned is not correct. What is the type of the subtalar joint? The subtalar joint is a plain synovial joint. Correct. Yeah. Yeah. Well done. And what is the type of calcaneocupoid? That's a, a plain synovial joint also. Okay, and the TCN? Plain synovial joint. No, TCN is not plain synovial. TCN is okay, socket joint. So you have calcaneocupoid and subtalar as a plain synovial joint, and TCN as a synovial bone and socket joint. Okay. We touched base on the metatarsal joint, the metatarsal joint is formed of two joints, the TCN and the CC joint. Yes. Okay. That's fine. So, so given that we're going to be in the foot, can you tell me what are the structures 
passing deep to the uh, extensor hallucis longus tendon? Deep to the extensor hallucis longus tendon will be the deep peroneal, the deep peroneal nerve, as well as the dorsalis pedis artery. Correct. Yeah. So you want to say the artery as well, dorsalis pedis artery, and deep peroneal nerve. Okay. So we're going to identify a few structures in here, starting sure. by number one. So number one is the extensor retinaculum. The five. Five is the extensor digit. Five is the extensor. Um, that's the number five is the peroneus tertius. Correct. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I'll take you back. Always, always, always a start a neuro anatomy session or neuro anatomy, um, uh, you know, questions by saying this is a specimen from the right foot or this is a specimen from the left foot. Before okay. you start answering any question, that will save you lots of time on marks as well. Okay, so I'm sure that you do agree that this is a right foot and uh, a specimen from the dorsum or the right foot and the ankle as well. You said extensor okay. retinaculum number one, five is the peroneus tertius. What about seven? Seven is the extensor digitorum tendon. Fourteen. Fourteen. This is the extensor hallucis longus tendon. Tendon, yeah. And what about twelve and eleven? Eleven is the dorsalis pedis artery. And 12 is the deep peroneal nerve. Correct. Well done. So these are the structures deep to the extensor hallucis longus, as you can see here. All right. What about 15? One five. 15 is the, the continuation of the dorsalis pedis artery. Um, and the beginning of the first dorsal digital branch of the dorsal spinous artery. What is that? What is that called? Um, How does the dorsal spinous artery end? What is the termination it, of the dorsal spinous artery? It, it ends as the beginning of the, the, the deep plantar, the, the plantar arch of the foot. You, you meant to say the deep plantar artery, which will Anastomose with the lateral the, the the lateral plantar arch of the posterior artery. Correct. Yeah. So 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 that will be formed as an arch in the door in the sole of the foot. So fifteen is the deep beginning of the deep plantar artery. Okay. Yes. Well done in this one. Um, yeah, I think you've got everything uh, pretty much correctly. Fine. So in this one, again, very similar. We just took some muscles from here. Remember number five, the peroneus tertius. I'd like you to say what is number 19. Right. So number identify number 11, right? So this is the, uh, another picture of the dorsum of the right foot. And number 11 is the dorsalis pedis artery. Okay. What is the 19 then? One nine. Number 19 is... Is a, is a digital branch of the dorsalis pedis artery. What is that called? It's called a, a superficial digital branch. Cool. Um, oh. No, no, don't make up names, right? Don't okay. make up names. So it's, it's called the arcuate artery, the arcuate artery. Okay. Arcuate artery. So, Chris, yeah, uh, are you able to, to turn on your camera? So I would let's see if the delay will be stopped if you, if you do that. Would you like me to do so? I'll, I'll, Can you turn off your camera up just to check if the delay will be sorted if you do that? So you want me to log out? Man, can you hear me? Yes, you would like me for me to log out? No, uh, 
I'm asking you if you can turn off camera. No, 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 no. And I'm asking you if you can. No, 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 no. I'm asking you if you can turn off your camera. So I will oh, to check just camera. if this delay will be sorted. Oh, okay. Just turn off the All camera. Right. All right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Understood. Yeah. Let's try, let's try let's try this way and see if the delay is sorted. Okay. Fair so enough. yeah, we've said yeah we've said eleven is Dorsalis pedis artery, and it continues yes. as fifteen. Fifteen is the deep plantar artery, and nineteen is the arcuate artery. Right. What about twenty one? Yeah. Twenty one is the deep peroneal nerve. Yeah, correct. And fourteen. Fourteen is the extensor hallucis longus tendon. Okay, well done. Very quickly on this one, can you tell me what is number five? So this is another photo of the dorsum of the of the right foot, and the number five will be the Extensor digitorum, um, extensor digitorum tendon. Yeah, which part of the extensor? Which the which extensor digitorum? Is it longus or brevis? Digitorum brevis. All right, I think if you look again, um, so five is the longus, and oh, four okay. is the brevis. Four is a smaller, okay. and coming from here, so four is the brevis. Okay, that's yes. fine. Yes. So in this one, I'd like you to identify number five. So this is a photo of the lateral aspect of the right foot, and five will be the the right fibulo fibulo ligament. No, I think you're making up names here, and we need to avoid that in the exams. Uh, so, so five is the anterior talofibular ligament. Anterior, anterior talofibular ligament. All right. What about number four? Number four will be the the anterior tibiofibular ligament. Correct. Yeah. What about number seven down there? Seven is the the cal the calcaneo telocalcaneo ligament. Again, you're making up names, right? So it's a calcaneo fibular ligament. Calcaneo fibular ligament. Okay. Yeah, don't try to make up names, please. Okay. What about number eighteen? And it has two hours at the end. Number eighteen is the that's the articulating surface of the 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 telos bone with the yeah what is what is that joint called this is called the um i would like to i would like to come back to that question that's fine it's a telo calcaneo uh navicular joint right so you have the talus and the navicular bone number 19 and also the calcaneus from the other side, from the medial side. So that would be the TCM joint. OK. What about the number, this one, which I'm pointing to, I think number 14. That's the calcaneo cuboid joint. Amazing, yeah. So that would be the metatarsal joint. The whole thing is the metatarsal joint. Well done. So we're looking from the other side now. What is 33? <clears throat> Thirty-three is the medial malleolus. What about thirty-four? Thirty-four is the the anterior the the tibiotelar ligament. So, Chris, for the last time, don't make up names if you don't know the answer. Okay. Okay. So this is it. That's the yeah. Which part of the deltoid ligament? This is the 
as simple as the D part. That's it. Okay. The D part of the Taylor delta element or the posterior part of the delta element. All right. Okay. What about 30, 23 first? This one. So 23 would be the anterior part of the delta ligament. Yeah. If you want to give it a name, a different name, anterior part is correct, but if you want to give it a different name, what would what would it be? The spring ligament? No, 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 no it's not a spring ligament. I'm not sure what the name is. So basically, it's going between the calcaneus and the tibia, right? So that's the calcaneotibial part the of the deltoid ligament. Okay. What is 31 down there? <clears throat> 31. Where is 30? Oh, 31 is the, the, the calcaneo. 31 is the calcaneo, calcaneo navicular ligament of the yeah. deltoid ligament. I, th I think 31 is pointing, I know it's confusing, but 31 is pointing to a bone down there. Okay. All right. Well, that bone will be the sustentaculum tili bone. No, sorry. Um, you know, no, hold on. Sorry. It's my, my mistake. Uh, so. I think. I will need to check that. All right. Okay. I'll, I'll probably answer this after. Uh, the session. So I think it, it, the arrows are quite confusing to me, to be honest. So I need to double check it. So this no is problem. definitely sustentaculum to lie. This right. area is sustentaculum to lie. All right. But I'm not sure if 30 is pointing to a ligament or pointing actually to something. All right. So let me check that and I'll come back to you. Uh, but sure. basically, this area is sustentaculum to lie and this is the ligament, right? So I'll check that and I'll tell you. Okay. Fine. So uh, the last bit that we'll do will be this, this one. Uh, what is 15? So this is a photo of the medial aspect of the of the right foot, the right ankle joint, and 15 is the medial malleolus. And six? Six is the deltoid ligament. And 26? 26 is the navicular bone. 18, 1, 8. 18 is the calculo navicular ligament. Again, Chris, you're making up names, so don't do that, please. Um, it has a different name. I know it's calculo navicular, but it has a different name that's more that common. Is, um, that's the um, spring ligament, right? Okay, spring All right. ligament. Spring ligament. Yeah. You can call it calcaneo navicular, but I think spring ligament is a more common name. Okay. What is seventeen? Seventeen is the is the short plantar tendon. Yeah, ligament style. And fourteen. And fourteen is the long plantar ligament. Okay. What is twenty-two? Twenty-two. Can you scroll scroll up a bit? Scroll down, sorry. Twenty-two is the tarsal sinus. Yeah. What a three. Three is the pos. Uh, right. So three is the 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 posterior um, telocalcaneo. Telocalcaneal ligament. We're going to say calcaneal fibular ligament, all right? But again, you're still making up names, and that's not a great point for the exam. All okay. Right? So that last that last photo, that was the lateral aspect of the, of the foot. This one, you can see here. This is the fibula. Number thirteen is the lateral malleolus. Not this is the tarsal sinus. Okay. What do you mean? So yeah, this is no, lateral so... malleolus, and this mm -hmm. is the tarsal sinus. So you're definitely on the lateral side. 
Okay. okay. Yeah. The other side, this one, this is medium malleolus. You cannot see a tarsus sinus. So you are in the medial side. Okay. 